Hello and welcome everyone to this very important update on our favorite topic as Tesla shareholders, which is RoboTaxi. What is going on there? And we have some bomb shells dropping today. And these bomb shells refer to RoboTaxi expansion. And here's some things I wanted to share. So Gally, the great Gally posting, crazy quiet, crazy how quiet everyone is about RoboTaxi. It's true. We had the America party. We had Grok 4 launch, like total acceleration. No one is talking about RoboTaxi anymore. Gally says it launched, it is doing autonomous rides and everything is so chill. Self-driving cars are the new normal, patiently waiting for any news on expanding service. Guess who responded? Elon Musk saying expanding to a larger service area in Austin this weekend. Like what? Are you kidding me? This weekend? So as you know, we are watching like hawks. What is going on? with RoboTaxi and when does it expand? Because if we'll get to this in a second, you know what I'm talking about. It's about the RoboTaxi expansion curve and that critical number that once we hit that, the stock, in my opinion, is going to hit a catalyst, a hard forcing function all the way to 1000. And to preempt that and to know it before it happens will be one of the winning, big, big winning trades within the last five years, in my opinion. The knowable winning trade. So. Then it continues. Tesla owner Silicon Valley is asking when the Bay Area. And Elon says waiting on regulatory approvals, but probably in a month or two. So that means in August or in September. That is pretty, pretty big. Of course, then Galley says, wow, we are moving. Exactly. Jeff Lutz, let's go. <laughs> and Waymo, yeah, of course, Waymo. Waymo doesn't even count. So what does that mean for us? Hey, creating these videos is a lot of work please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, you know where what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna share this model that you already heard of, the famous RoboTaxi scaling model and the whole reasoning behind it and what that actually means. So as you know, I have a very simple theory that's a little bit more than a theory. This is the cash flow of Tesla and this is how much money RoboTaxi brings in and RoboTaxi trajectories, we have three scenarios, the slow rollout, the expected rollout and the fast rollout and the green line, the all decisive green line here, right? My favorite green line is about my central thesis that the green line represents 5% of Tesla's free cash flow of 2024. And my theory is between three and 8%, three and 7%. So I said five percent of free cash flow, Wall Street will be forced, will be forced to recognize we are in the middle of a hyperscaling situation of a new revenue stream that is not in the future, but that is happening now. Once we cross the 5% line, roughly, could be 10%, could be 2%, some, somewhere around there. So what does it mean? Here are the different scenarios. When robo-taxis, free cash flows, will cross that line. And that, of course, is a function of how many are deployed of these robo taxis, right? And so this is all about this second, this thing here, let's go here. The number that is required to pass the green line is roughly 2000, it's 1800, right? And what you see here in this here is that we cross these 1800 in November this year on the fast trajectory, but on the red trajectory, we cross it in March next year. That's a big difference for, you know, if you wanna play this with any kind of options or something, and believe in this thesis, which is up to you to believe that or not, but I believe in it. Uh, so if you would have that trajectory and you would know it crosses the green line in November or it crosses the green line in March, you have potentially an enormous alpha because then you can do some pretty aggressive trades here. Uh, and that means enormous returns if you do it right. That's a whole different topic, how you do it right, if you would have the right trajectory. So what do we see here? Well, what we see here is I plotted the actual number of deployed robo taxis uh, so we can actually identify the trajectory we are actually on. So in June it was 10, in July it's 50 and 80, the expected versus fast. So of course we don't know the numbers right now. That's the problem. So if you have any ideas, go to pioneerlands.net. That's where we all meet and zero in on these problems. So we all have our advantage by having boots and eyes on the ground in Austin and on X. But this is the question. We are right now in July. If you ask me, if that expands in Austin, we are definitely in the yellow area and not in the red area. 
right? Because that will go towards 80. We are in the middle of July now, not even in the middle. If they expand, they will get to 80. And if they get to 80, then they can get to 200 in August. If they then add the Bay Area, well, even within Austin, they can easily get to 1,000 in Austin, by the way. They could even get to 2,000 in Austin. But of course, the more areas you add, the exponentially faster it can happen. So right now, I would say we are clearly on the fast lane, on the fast expansion lane. Now, that doesn't mean we skate, stay on it, but we're on the fast lane, okay? Let that sink in. If that's true, we might cross that line in November. If we cross the line in November, we could see 600 to 1,000 share price this year. The stock is at 300 because people are incredibly stupid and sell it on all these fake political news that have nothing to do with Tesla. So I like it. The more the stock drops and the more we see progress and the more these two things happen to coincide, stock dropping with robotaxi scaling, the more we are setting ourselves up to the best opportunity ever. Because we have to understand if you talk about out of the money call options, for example, be very cautious. This is not investment advice. But if you know how to handle these things, you know very well that the closer that inflection point comes that shoots the stock to 600, closer it comes and the lower the stock goes, the vastly more exponential the returns are, right? So if the stock is at 600 in December, just assume, and we would be at 450 and then go to 500 and 550, then it's like not that interesting. You can't do much, right? There is no opportunity call options wise. But if we are on the trajectory towards 600, and the stock keeps dropping or lingering around below 400, that's good. Time is our friend. So that is why it's so important. This is the ultimate signal. That's why I'm showing you this model all the time. And that's why you should get the model. Go to pioneerlands.net, become a citizen. You can get the model. But this model is so important because it helps us to see pure signal once we add information to it. So it's very exciting. This is absolutely non-trivial news. And that's what you have to actually watch out for. That's why we are covering this on this channel. So I think these are very, very interesting news. And it's fascinating that the stock, by the way, is moving very little on this news. Uh, it's, it just dropped like a stone based on the fake America uh, news, fake America party news. But look, nothing's happening to the stock. So this thing dropped here on the uh, fake uh, Trump America party problem. So it, it should go back very quickly without any catalyst to 313, 315. So we have $10 to go without any, this will just, in my opinion, go back to 315 in absolutely no time with no news, which means this news is completely ignored today because we have to go up another 10 anyway, based on people understanding that they were stupid uh, on Monday. So this is completely being ignored, which is a very good sign. I want Wall Street to ignore it all the way to 1,000 robotaxis. Longer they ignore it, while we track the signal, the exponentially more return we can generate. So I hope that was helpful. Stay tuned. We are going to watch this very closely, day by day, and I will keep you informed. Thank you.